this video right here is the second part of my 2018 Stanley Cup Finals NHL logo tutorial playlist, I guess you could say. That's a long-winded uh, title. But anyway, um, we already did the Washington Capitals, so now we are doing the Vegas Golden Knights. So without further ado, let's get right on with this tutorial. Okay, you guys, so to get started, I've got my paper in portrait mode. Here's the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to divide this in half. So I'm going to take my paper and I don't need a ruler for this, but you guys might need to, but I'm just going to draw a line straight down the middle. And if you guys notice the way that I do it, it's something that a lot of professional artists are kind of used to doing, but you'll notice that my finger right here is kind of guiding the pencil and keeping it as straight as possible. So that's essentially, uh, that's what that is. So you can use, like you could use your, your, your fingers to kind of figure out and draw lines without needing to use a ruler. So that's as straight as it's going to get. Let's go ahead and get started with drawing a circle uh, here in the center, a little bit higher up. And I'm going to draw my circle about this big. That's a good size. Okay, this is going to be the uh, go going to be for the top of the head. And you want to make sure as you draw this circle that it is like half of it is on this side and the other half is on the other side. So you just want to make sure that you've got that nice and even. That could also take some time. So like I said, feel free to um, pause the video and try to get it as much as possible. If you guys need uh, something that's round to trace, that's, that's fine too. You can do that. Okay, so there's my rough circle. Not the perfect, not a perfect circle, but that's fine. Okay, now what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to bring the top and bring bring it to a point like that. So just take from the side here and then just bring it higher up and make a point up at the top. Okay. So that's going to be the top of the helmet. And you guys could probably erase this. You don't need it anymore. Or you could erase it later. That's fine too. Okay. And from here, kind of think of the circle cut it into four from these two points here, bring two lines going down parallel to the center line. Okay. So there you go. And here's the other one going down like that. So these are going to be the sides of the helmet. Cool. Okay. I'm going to erase this now. So all we have is the the size of the helmet and then you've got this straight line going down. Uh, what I want to do is I want to create a shape right about here just below just below these two points where we started the line going straight down. A little bit below that I'm going to bring I'm going to draw a diagonal line to the center at this angle like this and I do the same thing over here. Bring it down like that. So if you guys can see where my initial circle was it's at this point, you want it to be a little bit higher than that. Okay, so that's gonna be the top of the helmet. And this is where we're going to start drawing the letter V that's very uh, embedded, that's embedded in the negative space of the Golden Knights logo. Okay, now, right around here is a good cutoff point. And here is a good cutoff point. You want to make sure that they're aligned. So there's a good spot. And I'm going to kind of bring very similar to this angle here. So almost parallel. I'm going to draw a rounded line like this from those points to the center line. Okay. So where this is straight, this is rounded, but it sort of falls very similar in angle. Okay. So you want to pay close attention to that. There. So now we have this thing that looks like a, a bullet or a rocket ship. Before we continue with this, let's go to the very top now and let's uh, work on that little point here at the top. It actually goes this way and then a triangle top piece. There you go. 
Okay, now let's go over here, find a point here and a point over here. And then we do the same thing on this side, find a point over here and a point over here. You want to make sure that they're equidistant, equal in distance from the point to the center. And then here and here should be the same. Okay, and then now we draw. If you guys want to use a ruler, feel free to do that. But I'm just going to draw it freehand straight line from the top point to the bottom point on each side. You want to try to get a feel for the evenness. I think there's some birds fighting outside. Forgive me if you guys can hear that. I'm going to erase that center. Actually, I don't want to erase too much of it because we still have to work on this thing here. This is going to be like the nose protect protector on the on the on the night, right? But before we do that, let's kind of line draw like line out. Is that, is that a term where the V is going to go? And so here I'm first going to start drawing the letter V two points here and just bring it close to the center. You want these lines parallel and these lines parallel. You want the center to create this letter V shape and you want to make sure that the left side and the right side are mirror image of each other. Okay. Once you have that, you're good to go. Now bring this in and bring this in. So now you have the letter V in the negative space of the helmet, which is a very, like, very cool idea that they did. I really like this Vegas logo, to be honest with you guys. Okay, there. That's the gist of it, you guys. So, um, I mean, that's good and all, but we do have to um, add the details now. So let's go ahead and get started with that. First things first is we're going to draw a line from here going down to here. So if you guys didn't erase that line already, then you saved yourself some work, but I did. Okay, that goes there. Okay, over here, imagine a line going across this way to this point, and you want to draw a line from here down to there. Okay. Now what you want to do, you guys, is from here and here, you want to trace just outside the helmet. A little bit outside the helmet. Don't make it too thick there. Continue this and then you want to keep going. There you go. I actually want to make this one a little bit thinner than the other side. Forgive me, you guys. I'm gonna make this one slightly thinner, but just ever so slightly. And this takes a lot of work, you guys. You might need to, I don't twist my paper just so you guys can see it more clearly, but uh, you guys might need to turn your paper just to get, get it right so that your wrist doesn't go awkward. Okay, right here, I'm going to make this kind of a point like that. Okay, very cool. Now, this connects to this, just like that. Okay, now draw a line from here. Actually, I'm going to draw a slight little line like this. And this extends out slightly like this. And then draw a parallel line now from this point to there. I think that's the hardest thing with logos is drawing these straight lines. There you go. Okay, that's good. Okay, and then draw a line that is about similar in distance from here to there. Draw a line going like this. Okay, at the bottom, what you want to do is you want to almost bring it to the edge, except you bring it a little bit higher up. And then you bring this from here all the way to this point. You want to draw 
this curve similar to this curve. Okay, and then erase this point right here. So you got this little triangular shape. Try to make it clear for you guys. Okay, bring this this way, just a little bit past this line. And then from this point, you create just a tiny little change in direction. So you have this triangular shape with like a sharp little point here and then a longer point over here. So that's what that is. So we're done with this side. Let's go over to this side now. Forgot to flatten this part. So that needs to be flat. Okay, from this point here, I'm going to draw a line like this. Keep tweaking it. And then from this point over here on the left side, bring a line like this. Okay, so from here to here, I'm going to draw a parallel line, just like that. Cool. All right, so we are almost done with the actual helmet itself. Now let's work on this point right here. So imagine this line continuing this way and then going this way. Okay. Now from this point, kind of above, just above here, going here, I'm gonna draw a line going up, just like that. Okay, find a point over here, and then just above this, find a point here, and then right around here, find a point there. And what you wanna do is you want to create, uh, or just make these points meet with each other so that you create this, it almost looks like a V shape or a star shape, or not a star, but like a, a J with a really sharp angle, like this. Okay, one more thing, find a spot over here, and then draw a line, very similar to what we did on this side, drawing a line parallel, up to this point here. Okay, find a point right here. Okay, and then make this point meet there at the edge. And then from here all the way here, just like that. And that's it. All right, very good. That's pretty much all you guys. So now let's draw the crest that goes around the Vegas logo. We are practically, we're pretty much done with the helmet here. So now let's draw that crest from here. Make it go out like this. Okay, so the crest should be parallel to this curve here and this curve as well. Okay, so imagine this point kind of going diagonal like this and like this. So you wanna bring that curve to a stop at these points. Okay, and then what you do is you draw another curve, again, parallel. There, and on this side, like that. Actually, it looks like shoulders. That's not what we're intending to do, you guys. Okay, so now what we need to do, I'm gonna take this, I'm gonna turn it sideways. It'll be easier for me. And what I wanna do is I want to create a, a straight line from this point going this way and this way. Okay. And then draw a second one. So think of how thick you made this line here and want to do the exact same thickness on this side and this side. There you go. On this side, I'm not going to erase that line, but on this side, I will so that it merges together like that. All right. So now I'm going to turn it 
uh, this way. I'm going to turn it this way. It'll make it easier for me. But what I want to do now is I want to create a parallel line. So parallel to this, this straight line here, and same distance as here. There you go. And then of course this right here, this line meets there and then goes up and meets there. There you go. Erasing those guidelines. Now we do the same thing on the other side and then we're done. So just angle it so that it's easy for you to draw those lines without straining your wrist. Remember to make it the same thickness as the other side. And then the second line as well. And there you go. And that is it, you guys. So we're finished. That is how you draw the Vegas Golden Knights logo um, from the National Hockey League. So thank you, you guys, for watching. And stay tuned for the next drawing logo drawing tutorial that I have. Thanks for watching. And that is all the time that we have today. Thank you for watching all the way to the very end of this tutorial video. Let me know down in the comment section below who you are rooting for for the 2018 finals. And of course, if you guys are proud of your drawings, I would love to see them. So please head on over to the Google Plus community, post your logo drawing there, or head on over to Instagram and post your drawing there and tag me at draw two so that I can see it. If you guys enjoyed this tutorial, it would help me a great deal. If you liked this video, commented down below, um, subscribed to this channel. Um, make sure you guys also check out my other NHL logo uh, tutorials and as well as my other sports related logo tutorials. I have those on my channel as well. I have a link to all of those in the description down below. And of course, share this with your friends in your social media. And speaking of social media, you guys don't forget, you guys can find me on Facebook, on Instagram, on Google Plus, and of course, on my website, drive2.com, where you can download a whole bunch of coloring pages related to the tutorials that I have on this channel. Again, you guys, the links to that are in the description as well. Having said all of that, thank you, you guys for watching and stay tuned for more so you can learn to draw too. I'll see you guys in my next video.